Hi there, Toy here, and I have a very quick kind of event wrap up slash haul. February 1st, um, I attended an event at the North Suffolk Library, which is actually today. I'm filming today. I'm not sure if I'll get it posted today, but if I don't, it'll at least be posted tomorrow. And it was their Black History Month Expo. And I think I'll also be attending an event on February 15th at one of the Chesapeake Public Libraries. And what's so cool about this is of course, you know, I'm, I'm attending the event and I'm setting up, you know, spaces to share my work, but I'm, I'm really there kind of as a sidekick to someone that I'm collaborating on a project with. Willie Cordry Jr. is a local, he's an artist, he is a writer, he is a colorist. Um, he, he writes, illustrates, and um, publishes uh, his own comic book based on local Hampton Roads area and it's called City Earth and I've read it and I'm a fan of it and um, but he's also I mean he, he he's an artist like you just if you see his work you'll understand it. He is an, an art teacher at Regency University and he also teaches art at the Art Institute and he just has his hands kind of in everything. He's very much a person who like uplifts people. And so when he was, you know, booked for this event, for this venue on the first, he's like, Toy, come along. You're going to be a contributing author on this project we're working on. And I may have mentioned it before, um, but it's been, it's been a long process because there's a lot of research involved in what we're doing. We are going to be putting out a comic book based on the life of Bass Reeves. So we're trying to make it as factual as possible, which is why, you know, it's taking so long for it to come together. Because there's so many tall tales out there about characters from that time. We could easily just come up with something and put it out there, but we, we, we want it to be as factual as possible and we want to present it as a comic book because that is something that I feel is just like the new wave of getting information out there um, being able to share that so we are working on the Bass Reeves project together and we did an event today and I had so much fun we got to set up a table and you know meet people and sell things and then we did like a short presentation where we talked about some of our goals and what we have planned and everything and so I want to show you some of Willie's amazing artwork because I'm going to be using these as inspiration I've already started developing some of the story ideas for the comic book because I've been researching it for a while um, I've already read three books about Bass Reeves um, I started reading another one in January all in efforts you know to get ready for this um, but I want to show you some of his amazing prints this is one that he's done and it shows you Bass Reeves using his six shooters and in case you don't know the story which is one of the reasons why we're working on it is he's the first um, black US Marshal and, and there were others but there's so much that's significant and special about Bass that we thought he deserved to have a comic book series so I'm just showing you some of the amazing prints that Willie has done and because I'm going to be you know a contributing writer on the series I was able to get these prints as a gift <laughs> and I'm going to use them as inspiration when I'm sitting down and you know pinning some of the stories that we're going to be coming up with but I did want to give another little shout out I did buy some art from Lily because you know he's great my husband is a huge comic book fan and so I got um, two prints that show his work this is his uh, Hellboy with a red filter yeah I got that one from my hubby and then I got his favorite character Bubba Fett I could have got the Django Fett one but I thought he would appreciate the Boba Fett one and for those of you who don't know who that is it doesn't matter I just wanted to show off some of Willie's work so that had a whole lot of fun doing that event today and like I said we'll be doing another event on the 15th I am making an effort to really get out there and do more local events period 
and so I'm really excited about it. I did want to mention, um, you can't see it that well right now, I'm wearing one of my t-shirts, one of my original designs, and someone today did like make a comment about the shirt, and I wasn't really there trying to promote myself too much, I really wanted to focus on this. But I did let them know that I have a website with all of my original t-shirt designs. And I think I'm going to try to make like some commercials or some little ads for my t-shirt designs and um, get those out there. They're all bookish related and they all advocate reading. So that's coming down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was very short. I probably talked really fast. I hope you got it all. But I just wanted to put that out there. I should be having my reading wrap up for the month of January coming very soon, so look out for that. That's all I have for now. Bye! The boycotts were all about. Are you okay, honey? <laughs> that was my dog. She gets scared when she poops. <laughs> Sorry. And she got scared. Margie! <laughs> I may have to cut some of this out and maybe make a blooper reel.